Welcome. I'm Carl Frederick. I am Chris Allen. I'm Bob Lichter, and I will be interviewing individuals for Kenosha Voices, an oral history project of the Kenosha History Center in conjunction with Kenosha Community Media. We hope you enjoy these programs. And so when the opportunity came to come to Kenosha, Wisconsin, where we seized the opportunity. Moved to Kenosha. I was without a job. I was working at another shop and he said, we'd like you to come in for an interview. And, and so I went down there and I got hired. The supervisor liked me, the owner liked me. And it seemed to me I was working for $1.75 or something like that. This was at a machine apprentice. Kind of pushed the back down um, in, you know, into brackets where it would fit and then screw them in to secure them. It wasn't any big uh, chop saws or power saws that, that, we, that, we could, that, that we could use. Maybe I would meet uh, three or four people I worked with and we'd go ice fishing out at Powers Lake. Picnics and you know family picnics and bowling outings. We had a we had a bowling league. Uh, there was the twenty year club. Where you, you get to be twenty years, uh, you got a, a a pin. They wanted to get more women on the job, and the reason I had to take the test was to set the standard. I never worked so hard as I did when I was administrator. I never worked so hard as I did when I worked centrally. And if you really have your heart set in going into business, go for it. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. We've got great customers that have kept our family in business for 132 years now. A family would come up and they'd have two, three brothers that would work for us and, uh, and they're always hard workers and we got along good. We had lots of people that stayed 15 or 20 years. The majority of our customers certainly were, you know, just the regular working men and women of Kenosha. Just great, great customers. They were all very loyal customers. We had a lot of homecoming dinners from Carthage. We had a very good Carthage trade. We all felt in, in our family that what's good for Kenosha is good for us. Uh, after we moved, still in touch with several people that we knew back that lived with us in that area. Yeah. We're not six steps removed from everybody. We're three steps removed from everybody in Kenosha. That's how tight a community it is. Next up, Lou Regani, the music of the stars, stuff like that.